the demonstrators marched to the offices of the Ministry of Works and Transport, where they met with officials from the ministry and those from other government agencies. Among their demands was the immediate intervention by government to protect the public transport industry from collapsing. Other burning issues were tolerated lawlessness in the industry coupled with illegal transportation, both involving short- and long-distance operation. The association also wants government to address the issue of unregulated vehicles, such as the seven-seaters, which they say are putting passengers at risk. They have threatened to boycott a number of regulations should government fail to meet their demands. The public transport industry will refuse to pay mass distance charges, return all MDC logbooks to the roads authority, operate without public transport permits, operate without public driving permits, taking of vehicles to the roadworthy testing. Receiving the petition, the line ministry says some of their concerns are already receiving the necessary attention. The public passenger bill which we have referred to. The process, lawmaking process takes long, but we are glad to say that it's already been approved by CCL. So some of these issues will immediately be addressed by this. So it's not that uh, we're not doing anything, it's already in the process. The second part is that road safety is at the core of the ministry. Secondly, lawlessness is not something which the ministry condones. But all of these issues will be addressed. The transport industry has about 20,000 vehicles operating with valid permits. Over the years, the industry faced numerous stumbling blocks, which the demonstrators say have put the industry on the verge of collapsing. Timo Andreas, NBC News, Ventuk.